Hi there, just going to take us for a quick walk around the 64 kilowatt hour Kia e-Nero. It's got a 64 kilowatt hour battery uh, giving this car about 250 to 300 miles worth of driving range, uh, which puts it at the, you know, range-wise in the top of its class. Um, this is also a first edition, which is a high-spec model, uh, which I'll go through a little bit later when we look at the interior. Um, other stats on this particular car, let's see, it's done, well, it's done under 26,000 miles. Uh, MOT, next one's not due till the end of March next year, and next service isn't due until the middle of May next year. So nothing to worry about for absolutely ages. Uh, it's in a very nice grey colour, uh, and it's in lovely condition. There's, there's hardly a mark on it, but I'll, um, I'll go around the car now and I'll point out any, any little marks or anything that I think might be noteworthy. And there you can see there's a little bit of kind of alloy wheel corrosion in the centre of the alloy, but at a metre away it's hardly noticeable. But the rest of like, the paintwork on the car is really, really good. D or light scratches, inside the odd little stone chip, and this alloy again, a couple of little bit of marks on it. Again, not really noticeable. Someone's obviously just used the wrong type of cleaning products on their alloy wheels. That's how that comes about. There's a little chip mark there on the on the rear bumper, on the boot sill. Just there. Tiny little marks though. Alloy's okay. Another tiny little chip mark there on the, uh, the passenger door, passenger side door at the rear. Alloy's okay. I'm sure around the front of the car there's going to be the odd stone chip or two, although to be honest nothing stands out. But yeah, I mean generally though this is, this is a lovely condition car, other than a couple of really really minor marks that aren't really a thing, it's practically immaculate, and in this nice metallic grey colour. And obviously it's first edition, so it's a top spec car, um, so it carries the same spec really as the, uh, the, the 4 plus edition, but without the sunroof. Um, so you've got these nice um, leather seats, uh, they're heated, heated steering wheel, electronic handbrake, different drive modes, decent infotainment system with Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, uh, JBL 3D sound system which is nice, uh, adaptive cruise control with lane assist and steering assist so it's pretty much a self-driving mode. Um, being the first edition it also comes with a heat pump. Uh, and that's, that's a basically a highly efficient heating system which will extend the range of the car in winter. Very nice, desirable thing to have. It's just available on the 4 Plus models and the first edition. So that's good. But yeah, the interior sort of mirrors the exterior really. It was uh, nothing really of note. And it's a Nero, so you've got a nice practical car with a nice big boot. There is additional space underneath. Uh, and obviously got rails on the roof, so you put a roof box on, you've got a car that can comfortably do the family holidays. Um, this is what I always take when I'm going on holiday. Uh, in that boot, of course, we'll be putting a three-pin charging lead like we do with all our cars. So it'll come supplied with a lead that you can plug into any normal domestic main socket, so you don't even necessarily need to get a charge point installed. At least not initially, anyway. And there you have it. If you're looking for a great value, great quality, long-range EV, the Kia Enero uh, could be the perfect car for you. Uh, and if you're looking for one at a great value price and in great condition, this could well be the ideal car. And it's here on the forecourt, ready for a test drive or a viewing. Uh, alternatively, we can deliver this car straight to your home. Um, thank you very much for watching. Be sure to watch our um, Enero content on our website and on our YouTube channel. Hopefully you'll find that useful and hopefully we'll speak to you soon.